And after that rather moving cutscene from Shepard, or dialogue rather, our squad has been ambushed. And yeah, we gotta move to the. Technically, the second mission came in. Oh yeah, I love this. We got this guy eating a sandwich right here. And, um. Yeah. Uh, we were ambushed, not quite sure where we were going, because I didn't actually play, uh, SSDD, or The Pit, or whatever it's called, mostly, mostly because I suck at that mission, and it doesn't really serve any benefit to the plot, other than the fact that the very end of it leads up to this mission, it's basically, like, you leading, leaving, like, on the convoy, and, yeah, uh, see, I only noob tube twice, mostly because, uh, there are a couple other parts in this mission, the uh, noob tubes are uh uh well useful for like uh there are like a couple of room clears and stuff where there will be multiple people that you will want to take out quickly so uh yeah i'm trying to shoot accurately for this if i wasn't recording i would mostly just be like spraying magazine after magazine through the or er, into the river and yeah there are some guys you have to shoot really you could just sit behind the truck uh, the whole time until those guys come up and not fire a single round, but I like to actually play the mission as it was, well, legitimately meant to be played. And, uh, right back there, I saw those guys running, so I assumed that they were still back there, so I shot off a couple of noob tubes here, and I failed at both of them. And, uh, I would advise that you stay behind this truck, because, like, up where Foley and, like, those guys are down there, um, you'll probably get shot. Like, not necessarily die, but the flinch in this game can get, uh, quite annoying. So, uh, this is post-commentary, by the way, because when I do live commentary, my, um, well, my game audio lags behind the actual audio, and I'm gonna be quiet for this audio because I like it. Yeah, I, I, I've always loved that cutscene. Since when does Shepard care about Danger Close? So, um... Uh, yeah, by the way, he's... I'm gonna try not to give spoilers, but, uh... Oh, is the building gonna fall on us? Nope. Yeah, and you'll see why he says that. Why you're not allowed to fire unless they fire at you. And, uh, you don't need to scan the rooftops at all. There's nothing here. So, uh... Yeah, don't just don't waste your time. And uh I'm gonna point at it sometime, but I love that APC down there, its name Punta Gorda or Punta Gorda or whatever it is. If you could uh name it for me and tell me like what it means in whatever language it is. I'm gonna guess Spanish or Portuguese, but I'm not sure, so if you could tell me what language it is and what it means, that would be much appreciated. And you can see those guys up there, militia, but if you shoot them you fail the mission because they weren't armed and you didn't shoot at them first. And, uh, yeah. And right here, I was just like, I'm watching you. So, uh, yeah. And then, wait for it. For it. Yep. So, yeah, there are guys up there. And, um... So yeah, we fire at the miniguns, and actually the enemies are, I believe they're, well no, they're not unlimited spawning on the roof, but that's not actually where, you don't actually get hit from the roof, you get hit from that window there, I don't know if you were able to see the RPG, uh, excuse me, trail coming from it, but you see that window I was spraying into, well there are a couple windows that the RPG people are in, and we'll be coming back to that school by the way, so um, there are just guys that are really you don't have to shoot. I just take them out because like I panic when I get shot, so I just like start spraying with the minigun. Well, that's really what miniguns are meant for. It's unlimited ammo, so and um people up there, people up there. There there's militia everywhere. There's no possible way that you're gonna be able to kill them all, so yeah, you're gonna get hit either way. And that guy up on the roof you can't shoot him. You can see I was hitting him right well, when he was shooting the RPG. Uh, you can't shoot him. 
just because if you shot him, then the RPG wouldn't uh, destroy your convoy, thus defeating the purpose of the mission. And, um, yeah, that's what you want to do. You just want to haul ass into this room as soon as you get thrown out of the truck, because you're going to die out there no matter what. So uh, I was actually really surprised here, because that guy came down and fully shot him. And I was actually surprised by that, because I've never seen uh, fully shoot it, and uh, I just decided to throw a tube up there, because I didn't really mean to throw a flashbang. And I actually shot another tube, and I think I got some people with it. So you can see, I got one guy, got another guy, and there was that guy in the corner. I thought I killed him at first, because I don't know if you saw his gun drop there, but I assumed he was dead, so... And I almost got naded, so I moved up to this wall, and I saw him there, so I'm just like, oh, hey, and yeah, shoot him. So, uh, and actually, something weird happened last time I did this mission. See, just shoot that guy. He was saying, I can't get a shot. I don't know what, why he was doing that. But last time, uh, someone, like, right there died, because one of the militia ran up and butted the U.S. Army soldier with his rifle, and he just, li literally, the dude just ran right by me and went for him. So it's not scripted, because it didn't happen that time. I thought it was a scripted event. And the reason I was spraying up there is because I know there is someone there, and I've died uh, before, like, of him. So now I'm just, like, sniping with the M4, again, trying to shoot accurately. I would normally be spraying and praying, but, yeah. And see, that grenade decided it was going to roll into my way. And, yeah. So, uh, I was going to throw a tube up in there, but there was no fire, so I assumed I had already got him or someone else had got him. And now we're running Rambo style into the school here. See, we got uh, this part. you you got to be careful here because the militia, they easily can kill you. So just don't be like where uh, I think that's either Foley or Dunn sitting in the middle hallway. Do not stand beside him because you will get yourself shot. See, I'm getting actually getting shot even when I'm behind cover, so... And right here, it, originally during the live commentary of this, which made my audio lag, I was talking about trying to take pop shots. Like, uh, you can't really take uh, semi-auto, or fire semi-auto with the M4. Well, you can, but as displayed there, but you don't really hit much. So, um, yeah, just fire at full auto, because the recoil is non-existent, pretty much. So, um... Yeah, if you hear background noise, there's someone on the phone, by the way, oh, so, uh, yeah, I apologize. Um, and you can see right there, I was like, whoa, 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 and, uh, and there was a nade, so, yeah, I was quite confused. I don't know how they didn't shoot him, but, uh, right here, I was just spraying, and I was just going, like, I can't die, I can't die, pretty much, so, uh, and then I was like, all right, I know that guy's still in there. But yeah, he wasn't. And then I see the RPD. So uh, what I actually notice now is that I picked up a different RPD. I knew, I thought I was going crazy, and I didn't notice the ACOG, but I knew that one of them didn't. But I'm glad I picked up the ACOG one, because for campaign purposes, sights are always better than irons. So yeah. And uh, I always get confused that there are people to the right, like when you go down there, but there's really nothing there. And the ACOG is actually a really good scope to have on your weapon for this mission, because it's not long-range combat, but the zoom definitely helps. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, right here I was just moving up. And uh, that's that's one thing that I... This is my favorite quote right here. Yeah, I'm cutting through history class okay. now from awesome. Dunn. Right. And, um... See so right there, I'm just spraying at that militia. And, yeah. Oh, that means I wiped out your uh, phone numbers, your... All right, um, all right here, I, I probably shouldn't have stood there. That was probably a bad place to stand now that I look back at it. So uh, you definitely want to stay undercover because, again, the militia, they carry, I believe, like AKs and RPDs, which are high-powering weapons. And not only will um, the flinch, it actually, the flinch is actually really bad on, like, when you get hit with, like, AK and RPD stuff. So, um, yeah. And you can see this guy's like doing his second chance last stand thing. And now I don't know why, but I decided to reload there. I, I had plenty of ammo, so. And that's scripted. There's, uh, by the way, there's nobody in that classroom every time. So, uh, yeah. Right there, I didn't recognize or 
remember that people actually came through this, so I was kind of panicking a little bit. And right now I'm pretty much just going like, move done, move, so I can shoot this dude. And then, yeah, you complete the objective, but, yeah, um, there aren't, uh, there aren't any enemies on this path until a little bit after, and you see I was doing some 360s for style there. And right here, uh, RPD is good for this, because you can see all these guys, you can just lay down, suppress the fire, and take them all out. I think, uh, like, one of them was able to get into a room for, and take cover, so, uh, yeah. You could see I was getting FN FAL'd right there, so I just started spraying. And then I saw him, and boom. See, that's why the ACOG is good, because you have that zoom effect, so you can really see people like that. And then I, I didn't notice that guy in there. This is what those noob tubes are good for. Because I was just like, hey, all right, all right, bro, you want to play that game? Tubed. And now I decided that since there's faster running speed, I'll go with it. And you can, that's a scripted event. That guy is always there, but... um. Right now, one of those guys actually shot him, but uh, in all of my previous times, I've shot that dude, or I've just run in the same direction as them, or that they were, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we've been handpicked to Shepard's Task Force, whoop-dee-doo, so YouTube, thank you for watching, and goodbye.